I'm adding flair to a plain everyday doormat and here to show us exactly how to do that is this Kansas City mama Andrea Krasno. So I'm looking around and these doormats of course they're anything but plain. They actually welcome you in. Yes. So you know you can go out and you can buy mm -hmm. really pretty doormats or if you just feel like I want to do this myself and add something personal for me to my front door. You can do that with just a plain rug, some paint, and some stencil. Absolutely, and this is a project you've already done. This is totally complete, and of course, just beautiful. You know, how did you really get those, uh, I guess they're sort of like starbursts. Yes, so I'm a big fan of mid-century modern before it was ever a trend. <laughs> and so as soon as I saw these stencils, I was like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it's like the perfect front doormat. So mm -hmm. I just kind of spaced them out and thought, you know, which ones do I like more? Which, do, you know, just where do I want to place them? And then uh, taped them off and did a little magic with paint. And it looks like this is the stencil here. So I mean, yes. if we lined it up, it probably would be so close to that. I mean, pretty it's just close. Exact. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So let's say I'm looking at that. My artistic skills not the greatest, um, you know, but I still wanted to get involved with this really fun project. Right. So I think that everybody can use a ruler and okay. tape, right? Yeah. So like literally a kindergartner. Yes. yes. And I do not have any artistic <laughs> skills aside from being able to stencil something that somebody laser cut. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'll just take some duct tape and some scissors and mm -hmm. create stripes. So I did um, diagonal stripes here, but you could do horizontal, you could do chevron, uh, you could make, you know, larger blocks if you wanted to. It's really up to you on how you want to go about making this personal and more of a free hand if you didn't feel comfortable doing a stencil. Okay, so let's let's actually try okay. our hand at this go because again, uh, my DIY skills are very limited, but we can get started with this because hey, it's painting stripes. That's okay. right. And then so you just get a little on your brush. Okay. And then just kind of go in the line. You're gonna see that this is very porous, so it's gonna okay. take a lot of paint. Uh, especially on things like this. I had to go back and fill in where it felt really light. Okay. So I'll do the same thing here. You can use the brush um, like this to kind of get yourself started. You can either dab it, you can brush it. But another technique that I'm thinking about doing after I finish this, if I don't like how it's going, mm -hmm. is using a roller brush. Okay. A really thin one to really get into the nooks and crannies and kind of give yourself a brighter hue. Okay, and then where can we actually get like paint like this or maybe some of the stencils? You can get this at any arts and crafts store. Okay. Uh, I got my stencils online, but again, all of your arts and crafts stores have fun stencils. They have summer, they have fun starbursts like this. You can also do fall and winter, seasonal. You know, it's really whatever you're feeling that you want to put on your front door to welcome your guests. Okay, and let's talk about this. Um, is this paint good for using it outdoors, right? Because a lot of us yes. have these mats outside, are they good for the weather? They are. So find a paint that okay. is either an outdoor or it says weather resistant. So these are mm -hmm. um, multi-surface and it is weather resistant, but they also have outdoor that are specific for that if you felt more comfortable. Okay, and Andrea, um, I hate to tell you this, but I got a little smudge. Not right a problem. Yeah. You can take care of that. Okay. So once your paint dries, because I had the same thing happen over okay. here after I was free handing mm -hmm. and filling mm -hmm. things in, mm -hmm. all you need is a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. Okay. Yeah, okay. and just dab away, and then if you don't like what you're seeing, just keep adding a little more alcohol. Keep just, you know, and it's, again, because it's so porous, you're going to want to try to get deep down into it, but mm -hmm. I promise you, I made it happen. You can kind of see it was right in here, but it okay. came out. Well, thank you, because now I know our friendship is not over, because I ruined <laughs> no, your map. No, not at all. You're yeah. welcome. Anytime. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. Yeah.